This is Module 1, Lesson 7. Today's objective was to demonstrate the commutativity of multiplication and practice related facts by skip counting objects in array models. Number 1. Draw an array that shows 7 rows of 2. So I need to draw 7 rows with 2 in each row. One row of 2. I'm going to label that as 2. Second row of 2, which would give me 4. Third row of 2, which is 6. Fourth row of 2, 8. Fifth row of 2, 10. Sixth row of 2, 12. Seventh row of 2, 14. Write a multiplication sentence where the first factor represents the number of rows. So looking back at my directions, I had to draw 7 rows with 2 in each row. I skip counted and labeled, giving me a total of 14 dots. Number 2. Draw an array that shows 2 rows of 7. So this time I'm going to have 2 rows with 7 in each row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There is one row of 7. Now another row of 7 because I need 2 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. When I count those continuing from 7, I have 14. Letter B. Write a multiplication sentence where the first factor represents the number of rows. Similar to number one, this time I have two rows times seven in each row, which still gives me 14, using the commutative property of multiplication to help. Number three, A. Turn your paper to look at the arrays in problems one and two in different ways. What is the same and what is, the di what is different about them? So on your own, turn your paper so you can see how you drew the arrays in a similar way and in a different way. Write one thing that is the same about the arrays and one thing that is different about the arrays. Letter B. Why are the factors in your multiplication sentences in a different order? Think about our rule, rows times size equals total. Use that information to help you explain why the factors are in a different order. Number four, write a multiplication sentence to match the number of groups. Skip count to find the totals. The first one is done for you. On letter A, I see I have two twos. So they wrote a multiplication sentence saying 2 times 2 equals 4. Letter B, I have three twos. So this time I'm going to start with 3. I have three twos. I'm going to skip count by twos three times. 2, 4, 6. That gives me a total of 6. Letter C, I have two threes, or two groups of three. 
So I'll start with my two groups times three. Again, I can skip count by two three times. Two, four, six. B and C represent the commutative property. We're using the same factors, but we've rotated our arrays 90 degrees to represent two different problems. Try the rest of number four on your own, skip counting to find the answers.